three on page optimizations you can do to explode your traffic. Hey, let me ask you a question. If you could do just a few simple things on all your pages and it really made your traffic go off the charts, would you do it? Well, if you would, you want to watch this video because I just got three things for you. If you do these three things, you're going to be so much better off. You're going to get more traffic. People are going to stay on your website longer. Isn't that what you want them to do? And you're going to benefit as a business or a blogger or whatever you've got the website for, because people will be coming there more often and staying longer. I'll show you exactly how to do that in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring the bell, turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time i go live or i upload a video okay so let's get right into it this on-page seo stuff is not as complicated as you think and i'll tell you about a few tools you can use also that will really help you out now on-page seo is where you blend things you do on the page and how you write on your page along with seo with meta tags and descriptions and all that so they all come together and they deliver more traffic for you now while it's only one piece of the puzzle on page seo will guide the viewer okay to the right content easier get them to stay on the page more and develop more conversions for you now that's something you want right number one you want to format content for readers and robots now a good seo strategy is designed so that you rank higher in the results the search results but also that you give the person who's coming to your site a better experience a good blend of those is the thing that we're going after so if you write your content for these robots and these content readers you're going to be much better off they'll be able to read your site and say hey this matches what this person's searching for i'm going to bring back this result for them you can do simple things like breaking up the information so it's more easily consumable by using h1 h2 and h3 tags you can break up your content by using h2 tags which are really just sub headlines and that will enable you to get better seo results from the robots but also it breaks up your content so somebody who wants to scan the page and see what information's on that page it allows them to do it much easier okay let's take a look at this graphic on the screen so i can kind of give you an example of what i'm talking about okay so it says how to test and it says research here so here's a few quick notes um i like adding h2 sub headlines about every 300 words or so insert h3 headers with an additional 50 words of content for each section when appropriate and also use targeted keywords and exact match questions in subheadings whenever possible i found a lot of success with google search console that's g s c when optimizing existing on-page content you can open up a page in in the google search console to find first party data on what google is ranking your content for and then you can add in the h2 and h3 sections of your site to see a good boost in rankings make your content easier to read for humans and search engines by breaking up your content with h2 and h3 subheadings don't forget to get the most out of this on-page seo tactic by including keywords and exact match questions in the section headings for maximum results keep your paragraph short you know it drives me crazy when i get to a web page this is solid text and it's in small font and i'm just like ah, i don't want to read all that it's too much uh, same thing in an email you know when you send out an email and, and people just write a whole email and they don't break it up i like to keep my paragraphs no more than two or three sentences depending on the length of that sentence um, that's easily consumable and then i can put a subheading right below that about the next paragraph i also like to use bullet points on my web pages and my emails um, if you put bullet points people can see exactly what they're getting and what it's about uh, that's a great way to format your web pages in fact i think it's a good idea at the beginning of any blog post is to have a bulleted list of all the things you plan on covering in that particular content in doing so people can scan through and find what they're looking for much easier they may scan down the 10 items you have and say number five is exactly what i want and they scroll down to number five and start reading if you didn't have that list there they may just click off your page number two optimize for featured snippets now what is a featured snippet well first off as google evolves as that search engine evolves it's trying to find 
content for people searching quicker and easier and give them a insight as to what that content's about so a featured snippet is a short description of what exactly will be on that web page once they click and go there and you want to optimize for those because that's your friend that is your selling line to get people to click and go to your web page now let's look over a few reasons you want to utilize these featured snippets okay check out the screen you want to dominate position zero above paid ads and other organic search results you want to build your brand authority by ranking at the top of the search engine results page for targeted keywords you want to drive more qualified traffic to your site you want to build more backlinks as more people click on and link to your content and you want to push your competitors online listings down the search engine results now there's several different types of snippets based on what they're searching for based on what the content is based on what their intent is let's check them out real quick paragraph featured snippets paragraph featured snippets show 40 to 50 word explanations based on a search query with a link to the source content this type of featured snippets can be secured with proper on-page seo and content formatting let's take a look at what seo moz has to say about that on-page seo is the practice of optimizing individual web pages in order to rank higher and earn more relevant traffic in search engines on page refers to both the content and HTML source of a page that can be optimized as opposed to off page SEO, which refers to links and other external signals. I like to summarize what's going to be on that page in the very top area of each page. Uh, and that way it describes some of the things that those people may be looking for. And throughout the content, you can go through and do these mini descriptions of that content section. Also. Now, if you notice nowadays in search engine searches, you're starting to generate these lists of things you know i can search for just about anything and it's going to have a list of eight things or nine things or whatever the search engines are now generating those so it wouldn't hurt to have those in your content so they have that information to bring back to the person searching here's an example right here uh, this one here is on page seo checklist uh, and you can see there's bullet numbers in here uh, and when you do that it makes it easy for the search engines to bring that back are you putting these on your pages right now that's what you got to ask yourself you can also add these table featured snippets check this out here's one right here you can see it um, you can uh, summarize the process show price comparisons or just provide a summary of different types of data uh, i have noticed that google prefers html tables compared to tables made in css or other languages and the last thing number three you can add faq section or faq schema let's take a look at an example of that right now so in this example right here you can add an faq section um, you can get even more bang for your buck by adding an faq schema to the back end of the content faq schema offers a number of benefits for your seo strategy like boosting impressions an FAQ schema will help drive more organic impressions, which can lead to higher click through rates, uh, more website clicks. As the pages get more impressions, you will start to see more clicks on your web page and blog interlinking. You can add a link to each answer in the FAQ schema, only point internal linking to non sales content, like a blog post to help drive more engagement. And you can also improve your online visibility. Your FAQ schema makes your content more visible because it pushes your competitors lower in the search engine results. Okay. So let's take a look at one of these FAQs here. The say FAQ compliance. Okay. Here it is. Uh, this one particular one is uh what is the purpose of ear and itar okay all they are there are different terms of their structure administration blah, blah 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 and if you look below there um they've added three to four common questions and answers at the bottom of each blog post and web page to help consumers and search engines i found that faq sections at the end of content helps with keyword rankings and allows the person building the web page to implement faq schema to get found in search engines supercharge your on-page seo game today guys it gets more and more competitive um, things don't really change much as far as what you need to do to sell people to get people to you 
but you do have to do something. I think a lot of people just build a web page. Uh, they use some of these web page builders, which I don't understand why you'd want to do that. Cause you don't have as much flexibility and I won't pick on anybody, even Wix. I won't pick on them right now, but when you use these things, you don't have the flexibility you would have if you use something like WordPress or Magento or even Shopify. Um, so make sure you're using a platform that will allow you to do this. And I should have said that in the beginning of this video, if you don't have a platform that allows you to do this stuff, you're just left out in the cold and you're not going to be able to compete. I think a lot of people don't do it because they're afraid it's too complicated. The fact is all you got to do is pull up my video. Once you have a platform that you can work in and go through all these steps, it's going to be really easy for you. I think the other reason is people think it's overwhelming. They say, well, I have, you know, a hundred products or a thousand or 10,000 products or a thousand blog posts. It would take so much time. This is true. However, if you do some of this, you'll get more traffic to your site. You don't necessarily have to do all thousand of your blogs. It's not necessary. Pick the ones that are the most popular and optimize those first. And once you see the results, you're going to find that you're going to want to do more. Uh, you can also hire somebody at freelancer.com at upwork.com at fiverr.com who specializes in this and they can do it for you. So I hope that helps you out. I hope you understand it better. I know it will get you more traffic. If you do just these three steps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video, put your comments below. What have you done on your site? What have you found that works? What problems are you having? I'll be happy to answer your questions down there too. I look at all the comments. I do answer as many questions as I possibly can. I don't have somebody doing that for me. I actually do it. So when you put a question down there, if I answer you, I'm answering you. I really appreciate you watching this. Don't forget to subscribe Hit that subscribe button down there. Turn it from red to gray. Don't forget to ring the bell turn on all bell notifications. So you're notified each and every time I go live or if I upload a video, thanks so much guys. Don't forget. I also have a course down there. It's a $97 course. You can get it absolutely free. It's in the description below. Won't be free forever. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right here. So you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.